Hey everybody, welcome to the Pistarno Show. Um, there's been a lot of interest in my little red cat truck here. Get him all cleaned up for a show. Um, so, I thought I would go over exactly what I did so far. Mind you, I'm not done. Uh, but so far, what I've done. So... I guess let's start just to, just to start by removing the body okay as you can see I still have not tidied up the wires yet uh, after I finished it yesterday I kind of just uh, went and did my fatherly thing so first off I'm running a 3S, 850 milliamp, ADC. Um, I'm thinking... I'm probably going to put this tray back in because this battery fits in the tray. Yeah, I'll put that tray back in um, to hold my battery. And it should... Fit nicely in there all right so that's first thing big battery everybody needs a big battery as long as you have a nice brushless setup so here we have the Furitech cedar brushless motor and the Furitech Python Pro ESC I've got it the right connector on for my batteries XT30, I think. Yeah, something like that. Uh, then we've got the um, connection to the receiver, which is a Radio Link R4FGM. So that's a four channel Radio Link receiver. Um, right now, after the two servos and the ESC, I still have one spot left for lights, if I do lights. I don't know that I'm going to do lights, but it's a possibility. So, that covers the electronics. Uh, the transmission is the factory Red Cat Ascent 18 transmission. I did upgrade the screws to stainless steel. I do that on everything I build. And then while we're up top here, this is the stock uh, Red Cat Ascent 18 chassis with bumpers. So the main parts are stock. Now, the elephant in the room are my shocks. These are hot racing 80 millimeter shocks. Overkill, maybe a little, but in the rear, 80 millimeters are perfect because when they close, the servo is at its lowest point and the shocks are at their lowest point and you got just a tad bit of overlap there. So, and the front... They go all the way down. So the only thing in the front, the servo is not as low as it could be. So I think I'm going to put some um, extensions on the chassis here. I have a couple. So I'm going to raise these up a little so that my front end can go down further. I've got plenty of room. I got about 15 millimeters there that I could drop. Um, and by raising these shocks, that'll give me what I'm looking for. So that's the top. So only changes are so far on top. We've got the brushless system from Furitech. We got radio link receiver. We've got hot racing shocks. Transmission stock, frames stock, 
no changes. The only change I did make was I drilled out the shock holes because they're made for two uh, M2s and you gotta have M2.5, so I don't know. I mean, this is made more like a SCX24 than it is a TRX4M, but I'm not a fan of two millimeter shocks, two M2 screws. So anyway, all right, so that's the top. Uh, I do have little blue captures here for a little bit of color and black spacers, six millimeter spacers. All right, so let's flip it over. Let's start with what's stock. Um, the, oh shoot. I don't know, the flats are stock. Transmission plate is stock. And that's pretty much it for the lower half. So, I'll tell you what I put on here and what I had to do to make it fit. Let's start with the links. Everybody's worried about the links. So the links I purchased off Amazon. They're brass with metal ends and I had to buy two sets. So why did I need to buy two sets? Okay, so one set, I used all the rears, straight rears. But I had to have two sets for the front. I took the longest bar from the front on two packages so I have four of the exact same. Does that make sense to everybody? Four of the exact same link. And that's all you gotta do to make have links for your Red Cat Ascent 18. I didn't have to cut anything, I didn't have to drill anything, I didn't have to modify them. These are straight from the package and these are straight from two packages. I hope that makes sense. And these are only like, I think, 10 bucks. So I paid 20 bucks for a full set of brass and metal links. And they fit perfect. All right, so let's move on. Now, drive shafts. These are Enjora drive shafts. So what I did here was um, the connection to the diff is fine. But the connection that goes to the transmission, I had to drill those out um, to the next size up so that they would fit on the connection on the transmission. So I bought TRX4M drive shafts. This connection is fine, but I had to drill out the drive shaft to make it to fit the transmission. Okay, so that's a simple modification. It's just drilling out two holes and they actually drill really good. Um, one thing I will tell you is you're gonna need a set of drill bits. And I've been through tons of drill bits, tons. But I finally found a set that won't break. They're like superior in all way. They burn right through aluminum, burn right through steel. Um, drill America. And of course, I have no affiliation with these guys. I just bought them and these are by far the best drill bits around. So what I so for the upper shock mounts, I used a 2.5, uh, and that allows you to put M2.5 screws in. And then for the drive shaft, I think I used a three, um, three or a 3.5. I could be, yeah, I think it's a 3.5. Um, so yeah. This pulls out of here somehow. I don't know how. But anyway, these drill bits, 
Uh, they burn right through, man. They are top notch drill bits. Bought these on Amazon. Uh, here's the part number. So, if you're in the market for drill bits, get the best. Um, the rest of the time, you're going to be wasting your money. I've broken so many drill bits. Just working on RCEs that it's insane. All right, so we have the links and we have the drive shafts, axles. These are TRX 4M Injora diamond axles. Uh, and I have, I believe I have overdrive and underdrive on these. I'll have to look more closely at them. I know I wrote it down somewhere for the fronts. But listen how smooth that is. It's got a little bit of gear noise in that transmission, but the diffs are quiet. And that's where I really get concerned at. All right, so both of these are Enjora diamond axles for the TRX4M. They come with all the bearings and everything you need. Comes with these weird steering links. So I don't, there shouldn't be any questions about that. Those are simple. These, you just hook your links to it, you hook your shocks to it. And you hook your dry shaft to it, and you're done. I did put the blue spacers in there for a little bit of color. Now, the thing that's steering this beast with four-wheel steer are two NSDRC servos. Uno. Dose. These are the RS100 servos. Everybody's heard of them in the TRX4M world. And now, as you can see, they work just fine in a Red Cat Ascent 18. I'm very happy with the way they fit. Uh, always happy with the way they work. Their speed is uh, unmatched. Their torque is unmatched. Nobody can touch them. I mean, listen how quiet that is. You got just a little bit of transmission noise and tire noise, which I need to speak about those for a minute. Um, yeah, uh, I'm gonna pull out. Now I have wheel scales that I will get um, set up. But for right now, I just want to give you an overall weight because here's something I'm going to show you. So what I do is when I build wheels, I build two of them uh, to be normal and two of them to be heavy. So like this wheel, 2.2 ounces, this wheel, 4.4. So double the weight. And the way I double the weight is I put in um, 1.55 brass rings. So it's got the brass rings for the wheel, but then it's got an extra brass ring. And there's, see, like this one again is 2.2. Two. That one there is 4.5. So these two are my front wheels. These two are my rear wheels. So the heavier ones go in the front. The reason I'm telling you that, because I did this um, to this vehicle as well. Let's see what it are. So 9.5 ounces sitting like that. 14.2 ounces sitting like that. So it shows you the fronts are what? Five, five ounces heavier. 
which is about right. Um, overall, uh, we're at a pound 79. Now, if I change the units to grams, 677 grams. So, with the weight in the wheels, this thing is weight heavy in the front, it pulls the vehicle up instead of pushing it from the back. That's where you get your over and underdrive gear. So, I'm overdriving the front, I'm underdriving the rear, plus with the added weight in the front, I get a tremendous amount of pull and less push. So, that keeps you from flipping your on your lid I mean you still can do it but it's not as easy with the weight being in the wheel and being down low and in the front um, I do have scales like I said I have scales for each wheel and I'll probably I'll set them up at some point I'm sure you guys have all seen these scales. We got four of them. Uh, but anyway, I had to connect to my phone to use them, and my phone is my recording device. So, for right now, you just got to go on the regular scale. So, all right, what else? So the wheels are special. The wheels are Trill Type B. Uh, and then I put on Maz Designs beadlock rings, which are really cool. These are the diamonds. Uh, very nice. And these are LGRP Swamp King tires. A very good crawling tire. Um, if you're going for looks and you want that big wheel, you can always go with something like this. This is the Endurers with the Swamp Claws. They're taller, fancier wheel, but this is a better crawler setup. So if you're going to crawl, you want these tires. So I think that's it. So everything is bolt on except for I had to drill out the holes for the shocks and I had to drill out the drive shafts to fit the transmission. Everything else just goes together. So, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please post them in the comments. Um, I will also post a link to this, these links, link to links. Uh, in the comments as well so that you guys can get you some of those so you don't have to spend 50 bucks on people trying to steal your money by saying they've made special links um, I don't know I mean I'm all for I mean if they're doing colored links and all that and that's what you want great but I mean, I guess I could have put this set together and charged you 50 bucks and told you, hey, yeah, these are special when they're not. Um, but that's not, that's not how I roll. The only thing I sell are patches and stickers. So if you ever want a Pistorino patch or a Pistorino sticker, let me know. I'll hook you up. Other than that, all my info is free, and you can come back here to my YouTube channel whenever you like and check out more content, because I am constantly building. That's what I do. Pretty much all I do is build all the time. So there you go. Um, one last thing you can see is the wheels pretty much fit inside the wheel wells, so... These links are perfect. Um, so, yeah.
I don't think you could get any closer with any other links. I mean, that looks like it's supposed to look. Um, one last thing I wanted to try. Yeah, baby. I think if I do this just right. Oh. Four tires. Look at that flex. You show me a Red Cat Ascent 18 with better flex. And I'll give you a free patch and free stickers. They really don't have much more to offer. Or stock parts off this if you want stock parts. But anyway, you're not going to find one. Nobody's doing four tires on an Ascent 18. But I am. I got four wheel steer. I got massive flex you can't go wrong and I've told you exactly how to do it exactly so you too can have four wheel steering and have flex for days just by doing what I did all right I think I've beat my horse to death and please don't think I'm cocky or think I'm special. It's just I put a lot of time and effort into verifying all this stuff. Um, and when it works, I like to show it off a little bit. I like people to see what I've done. And then I give you the information to do it yourself. So I'm not hiding anything. Um, I'm not trying to be the only guy with the truck that's cool. I want everybody to have the same. And then add your own to it, for Christ's sakes. Modify everything. Uh, that's our logo. Modded, modding RC everything is our freaking logo. So if it's RC, mod the shit out of it. And this happens to be an RC, so I modded the shit out of it. And you too can do the same. So. After that, I hope everybody understands um, how I did it. And I hope you get a chance to do it too. Um, because these little things are fun. And when you're crawling a hill and you've got that weight in the front and you got the overdrive in the front and you got this amount of flex, um, it's killer. It is a rock climbing killer. All right. All right. I hope everybody has a great day. Oh, this is how the, I used to be, I can do this with the real ascent too. It's because the rubber on rubber. Um, but yeah, that's pretty sweet. wonder what it does in the back. It should be about the same. In the, oh, I hit the body in the back. I might have to mod that a little bit. Anyway, it looks cool, right? It can crawl over a spectrum for my brushless setup. All right, guys, I've played enough in front of you. So go buy the parts, get the modding. Um, also, please go join the Facebook group, Pissed Rhino, Modern RC Everything. And in that group, as you mod, post pictures, tell people what you're doing, share. Because that's what that group's about, sharing. And right now, there's not much sharing going on, except from one guy who's trying to promote himself, and I'm not having that. But post pictures, just Show people what you're doing. Um, you know, have a little bit of, uh, be a little conceited. It's okay in that group. When you make, when you come up with something new, let everybody know because 
that's how the hobby grows and more people have fun more people join the hobby and that's what we want we want more people having fun playing with toys in their 50s I turned 50 this year guys can you believe that shit 50 I don't even want to talk about it <laughs> all right have a great week. Have a great weekend. And I'll be posting up on more Creighton modifications coming soon. I got a lot more going on with those to get those wrapped up. Uh, I took a break to do the Red Cat, but now I'm getting back in to the Creighton. So, again, have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. If you like the show, please subscribe and hit that like button. Uh, that way I know what I'm doing uh, is liked by somebody. So, thanks again. Have a great weekend.